Hi, it's Dave from MacObserver.com, and today we're reviewing the Mebo Instant Messaging application. You may be familiar with Mebo with the web interface right in your browser. You can have Instant Messenger, which is really, really solid. Um, and over a year ago, uh, with one of the Apple press conferences, they announced a Mebo iPhone application, and it's finally out. It was released this week and updated this week, so we're going to go take a peek at it. So we'll click on the icon, and it jumps right in. I've already configured my Mebo account. To authorize yourself on the Mebo application, you need a Mebo.com account. And then you actually mount all of your chat protocols right in the account itself online, so you don't have to authorize all of your accounts into Mebo on your iPhone. You actually authorize them into the Mebo account, and it brings them in automatically. So you'll see here's my buddy lists. I have two lists here, um, not a very large list, uh, really easy to organize. You can see you can uh, minimize and maximize them. Also, the offline list down at the bottom is uh, hidden away, which is, is very convenient. Oops, excuse me, they're a little small to uh, hit with my, my big fingers. Um, so, very, very basic list. You can click on a user to go say hello. So we can go say hi to my friend Doug. Um, we'll see what happens in a minute when he, he IMs back. We'll take a look around the app until he responds. Um, we have the chats list, which shows all the um, chats you have, and also recent. So, recents are um, the, the most recent IM that has come in. So we'll say, hi, Doug. Uh, Standard, same keyboard as you're used to with every other application, which is nice. I'm testing Mebo. Um, really quick, really, really easy to use. Um, like the timestamp, it's uh, something that was lacking inside the, the text messaging app here on, on the iPhone. Uh, it's actually one of the options for the timestamp, which is great. Um, so we'll go back over to chats. Um, let's go back, look at all. So we have all of these in the window, which is nice. Um, it pulls the icon if it has an icon. Uh, which is very, very cool. Uh, so let's go back and look again at the accounts. Um, functionality we have where you can set your status um, right here under the accounts uh, with your away or invisibility mode. Uh, these are the, the users that I have already added with the simple sign off button. Um, you can clear your chat history from your phone and also add accounts here, uh, all the standard ones. And when you click on more, uh, there's an excessively large list of networks that I've never heard of before. Uh, probably a lot of them that are international but they are available. Uh, the big ones I saw, uh, Facebook is already built in, which is nice. Um, they had some trouble with that over on the BeeJive uh, app, which is the other popular chat app, uh, does work um, over there, but uh, it's built in here, which is great, and then all the rest of the other networks. So let's go take a peek at the settings really quick. So I'll go over to settings. Um, really quick, something I wanted to compare. I've got BeeJive on here, a very, very uh, proud BeeJive user. The list of settings is huge, and you can see there's just, just settings, settings, and more settings. So it's a very, very long list. Wow, if we go over to Amiibo, only a few things. We'll go through each of them. Uh, sort order, display name. Highlight row on AIM is uh, to highlight the, the message. Uh, landscape keyboard, autocorrect, auto caps, uh, all speak for themselves. Here's the timestamp uh, and IM sounds. Uh, also on the settings, we have push notifications come built in. Uh, for Amiibo, does the sound alert and badge, the same thing as BeeJive, which is really, really cool. Let's go jump back into Amiibo really quick. So we'll go say hi to Doug. Go to chats. And we can say, read any cool blogs today. Gonna jump back out so we can watch the push notification come in. I'll uh, we'll give it a few seconds. Um, but uh, it's nice that it was already uh, built in, uh, ready to roll. It's almost like they're waiting for something. Uh, it's the reason why the app took so long to come out. I'm wondering if it had to do with the push notifications. Uh, while we're waiting, we'll discuss really quick with the Mebo iPhone application. The second you jump on Mebo.com, it actually syncs your chat history um, and all of your chats right into the Mebo interface. So if you're a user who um, jumps back and forth between iPhone and computer all day long, the iPhone app here um, will sync right back into the computer. You can see, um, here's the push notification. Uh, mentioning Tim Ferriss, uh, one of our favorite bloggers that we read, uh, hasn't commented. Um, so you can see the bubble down there. I can respond back if I could type properly. There we go. Um, so, like as I was saying, uh, the conversations, these three boxes will actually sync up right inside Amiibo. One thing I was disappointed about was I was using the Firefox plugin and it treats the third party uh, apps. Uh, I guess secondary in the scheme of things, 
next to the web interface. So this will sync with the web interface, the plugin will sync with the web interface, but the Firefox plugin will not sync with the iPhone app, which is a bit disappointing. Um, my biggest flaw with BeeJive is that it does not sync to anywhere on the internet, so I have to use one or the other. Um, let's get back over here. Is his... I want to show you something else. New book. Ouch. With the push notifications. Uh, something interesting with the, um, the chat settings. We will wait for the push notification to pop up. But as I was saying, so the syncing, uh, I think there's a flaw there still. I'm not sure what their infrastructure is like. It's interesting that BeeJive, you pay $10. I paid $15 for their server access for push notifications, while Mebo is free, probably because of the venture capital backing that they have. Um, but it's interesting that we are not paying for this gigantic infrastructure of syncing. I uh, wanted to mention, if you open up push view, you can see that you can actually snap between conversations, um, which is very nice. And also when we're here in the chat, wanted to show you have chat history, which pulls down from the web. Um, it actually pulls the web browser inside of Mebo um, and connects in. Uh, I found a lot, there are a lot of little nuances where you're actually using web browser in here. Things like authorization for AIM and some other histories and profiles. You actually use the web browser and connect right to, to Mebo. Um, so from here, uh, you can open right up Safari. So things Mebo was missing. Uh, first thing I noticed that I was really sad about, that there's no way to email chat history uh, from BeeJive. I'm a big fan of emailing the chat history from myself to myself so that I can see the chat on my machine, copy a link, or save a picture or a link, uh, something similar. Uh, so it was really missing that. Um, there were a couple customization items that I, I didn't like. And a few nights ago, I actually noticed there was a major, major flaw with the syncing where all the labels were just way off. Um, but I think it's just growing pains here with the tool. I'm really, really happy with this. Would give it a five out of five if I could rate it. Um, this is Amiibo, the iPhone application, which syncs your chat history or your chat conversations with the web. So you can actually jump back and forth between the web interface and the iPhone app. This is David from Mac Observer reviewing Amiibo iPhone application.